Hello everyone, welcome back. Next thing I'm going to show you is um, rasgulla. So I have some milk, so I'm going to boil that and uh, make the rasgulla. I'll show you how to do it. There's, you only need very minimal ingredients for that. So you, of course you need a lemon or a lime. So when you boil, the, once the milk is boiled, you squeeze the lemon into it so that the milk curdles and then the steps I'll show you in the video. Next thing you need is sugar. That's to make the sugar syrup. A um, couple of strands of uh, saffron, that is to give the flavor and color, and also uh, two to three whole cardamom. So we crush that and we put that while we boil the sugar syrup. So let's start it. So while this is getting boiled, I'm also going to make the sugar syrup. I'm going to add six cups of water. So I have six cups of water. I'm going to add one and a half cups of sugar. If you want really sweet rascula, you can add up to two cups. Bring this to a boil. It has to boil at least five minutes. So I'm adding the cardamom in this. Stir the milk in between. Okay, you can see the milk is already boiling. So I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice to it to curdle the milk. So you can slowly see the milk is curdled almost. It's the process has started already you can see see the solids slowly it's separating now I think this is called the the whey water see in two three minutes you can see it's completely separated now the solid milk and the, the water so now we will use a strainer to separate so now to strain the uh, the solid milk the curdled milk I'm going to use a big strainer like this and then put a cloth it's a cotton towel you can use a muslin cloth let's drain this I use some fresh water to rinse it it's very hot so be careful we will leave it like this for at least an hour for the water to drain completely I'm going to leave it like this for an hour because we need to uh, drain the water completely uh, before we make the, the dough out of it. So, so it's uh, almost, actually I said one hour, it's more than an hour now. Um, you can, I'm going to take this out. Let me throw the, the water. See that? The solid. So now, we need to knead this and make it really soft so let's knead it i'm going to knead it with my hands because it's uh, uh, not hot anymore so knead this nicely you can use your grinder if you want but since this is soft i'm, I'm using my hands so knead this and then we make small balls out of this it's very soft now and uh, you know how rasgulla looks like right so we can, I think usually with this amount, half gallon of um, whole milk, I, I get around 25 um, rasgulas. So make small tiny balls because when you cook this in sugar syrup, see the size, it's very small. So when you cook this in sugar syrup, it's going to almost double the size. So that's why I said make small, small balls. So these rasgullas are ready to go in sugar syrup. So let's cook in sugar syrup. So you can see my syrup was boiling here. It's uh, almost seven minutes. The flame should be on, on medium while you cook this. Uh, I'm going to add this into the sugar syrup. So you need at least 15 minutes or the, the size of this becomes almost double. That is the, that's when you know it's ready. The lovely rasgullas in the sugar syrup. Let it cook. So you can see it's almost uh, 12 minutes now. It's almost doubled in size. I'm just going to add few uh, strands of saffron. Just to add some color and flavor. This gives a good aroma. You saw like how um, I did not add any milk powder. I did not add any um, all-purpose flour or anything. 
it came out really nice it's just the milk so just leave it closed turn it off and then allow it to cool you can refrigerate it after and then it will stay for at least a couple of weeks a good dessert um, that anybody can enjoy see that saffron um, gave some color my rasgulla is ready thank you for watching thank you for joining me till next time bye bye